This is a tutorial for selecting, editing, inverting, and exporting your images so that we can print negatives on transparency to do contact print cyanotypes. So that's the goal. Um, I have put a selection of images in here that I thought might be interesting to explore. So make a subset of eight, 10 photos. You never know what's going to look really good in a monochrome, which is essentially a black and white, except we're doing a blue and white. It will be worth your while to look at a range of different images and see what it is that appeals to you once you start that editing process to uh, monochrome. I'm going to start with this image. Uh, one of the things you want to be aware of is you will need some parts that are bright enough to be white in your cyanotype, or it'll be a very uh, blue, washed out, low contrast image. Uh, so make sure that you have something that's going to pop. One of the things to be aware of is that over here you have in your presets, right? This is your presets. You have a, two options for black and white. You have this style black and white option, which runs through several things that are not truly black and white. Notice that has a slight brown cast, a richer, warmer brown cast, a slightly yellow green cast. We really do want uh, black and white. Um, some of these also are pretty close to a neutral and they have various levels of uh, detail in your shadow areas and in your highlights. Some of them will act uh, on the yellows and the greens will be brighter or the blues will be brighter or the reds will be brighter depending on what the algorithm is uh, for that. These are one way to get started. Um, this BW12, by the way, has a little bit of a blue cast, so you can see what it might look like as a cyanotype a little bit, uh, but it really is just a black and white with a blue. Uh, if you scroll down further here, there's a black and white subset uh, that has different titles for each of those presets. Again, go through and decide what's going to work for you. If, it, if you come up with something really low contrast, nothing there is really going to pop out from your blue uh, cyanotype. You want to make sure that you have some nice crisp whites uh, and not these last few that have some color in them, right? So these are also fine. When you do make a selection, and this is the selection for the high contrast that I went with for this particular image, don't just leave it there. This high contrast makes this dark area pretty much disappear. So I took this, and again, I have another uh, iteration of this to show you, uh, and went in and edited here above and beyond just applying that uh, preset. So with that, you can see here, I have opened up this area. So I'm going to get some texture in this area and in the background, the difference, that's the preset here. See how dark that is. And this is my adjustment. My highlights have stayed about the same, but my shadows have opened up a little bit. Now, this is a very cropped in photo from my phone. The um, quality here is not so fantastic. It's got a lot of JPEG artifacting. I'm gonna play with it anyway and let you see what this will look like. Uh, okay, so that's part one. Then my suggestion might be to rate all of the images, like look at all of them in black and white, and then go through and say to yourself, okay, what am I looking at here? Fit. This might be something that's interesting as a pattern. Something like this is going to have some uh, subtleties in it and the whites uh, may not be super white because it's uh, fairly low contrast. This is a little bit higher contrast lots of detail going on. Here's another one of the clouds. I had a really good uh, October break with some great clouds in the trees. Similar, uh, some more texture in the foreground. This is a, a person making washi paper. Thought it was interesting. It might be interesting to do, uh, he was wearing an indigo dyed outfit. So being in a cyanotype, I thought that might be interesting. I don't know. 
one of the interiors. This is another one I've done some masks with to bring this down a little bit and make sure there's enough contrast in the lights and darks here. More clouds. I had fun. Uh, two versions of that. And I took, uh, turned one of the sumo pictures uh, into the black and white as well. So something a little different. Once you have these, you may uh, select one or possibly two that you want to work with. These are still positives, right? They're positives. We want to invert these. In order to turn these into negatives before you export them, you need to go down to your tone curve. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to take this dot that is top right and we're going to bring it all the way down to the bottom. Still in the corner, all the way down. Then take the other one and bring it all the way up. And now we have reversed the lights and darks in this image or turned it into a negative. Yay! With a negative, anything that is uh, black here will be white in your cyanotype image. If you really want a true white to pop off the page, you can go back into this image after you've turned it into a negative and do additional uh, editing, usually with your masks, right? So let's say, for example, I wanted to now, with a brush, a smaller brush, uh, go in with uh, making the making it a little bit darker. So let's, oops, I have to go in reverse because, because it's a negative and I've reversed the tone curve. Um, so I'm, the exposure here, it's being, it's essentially making it more exposed or brighter. So it's actually gonna make it darker in the picture. So if I want that to be, to pop and be really white, or let's say I wanted parts of this jacket to pop and be really white in the background, I could go in and add to those areas to really increase uh, the difference in exposure when I make my cyanotype, right? So fussy little things, but you can play with that before you export. The other thing about, ooh, let me not forget, uh, about your tone curve down here, because you don't wanna have to do that all the time, kind of annoying, uh, save your tone curve. Now I'm gonna save my tone curve as invert, uh, I'm just gonna call it invert. Because if I have a negative that I've scanned, I could invert to a positive. I'm working from a positive, I'm going to invert to a negative. It's gonna save it in my curves, fabulous. Okay, so let's say I wanted to see my uh, egret. I can go down here and I can, here's my saved tone curve, one click and now I have that. And again, you can see how I've lost some of this detail. I do still want some of that detail. So I'm gonna go back up to my mask with a brush, with that a little bit more exposed and see if I can get some more detail in here a little bit, right? I want some of that. And I might decide that I want also more clarity. Oof, not so much less clarity. No, more clarity. And some more texture maybe. Maybe bring my, ooh, there we go. Bring the black points down. Now we can see there's a lot more texture in here. I might decide I hate it, but for now, we're gonna increase that texture a little bit. Okay, so that's the process. Once you have all of your uh, images that you want to work with uh, properly inverted, get out of my masks, go down here invert. Fabulous. That looks pretty good. Let's try this one. Invert. Meh. Okay. So perhaps I can grab all of those and then invert. Nope. Still does just the first one. All right. So I have to do them individually. Kind of annoying, but away we go. Then you're going to export them all. Let's select all of those.
Okay, so once we have your negatives exported, then we can decide how big we're going to print. These are not large prints. We don't have enough um, cyanotype material or cyanotype paper for us to make large prints for these. They're going to be probably about five by seven uh, inches or a five-ish. Um, so let's, let's see how we can uh, size those when we go to print them on transparency but this is the back end that work that you need to do to create your negatives so good luck see if you can follow along and hopefully you'll have a folder with I, you pick eight or ten to look at and then maybe pick two or three that you're like i think maybe these uh and and export to negative and then we'll do start with one and if we have time you can do a second one so great thanks good luck